Hey guys, I am very excited for this video because today I'm going to be revealing to you five different places to go on the internet to find PA jobs. And I'm talking real production assistant jobs on set. NBC, CBS, the real jobs, okay? And a lot of these places I didn't really hear about until I was on set and I just heard about it through word of mouth. There was no one place that told me where to go to find these magical, amazing jobs. So I wanted to create a video to kind of give you some advice and I promise you, these five places are very different and you probably haven't heard of one of them before. So here it is. <laughs> So the first place we're gonna be talking about for you to find PA jobs is production listings. Specifically, uh, Production Alert is really, really good. I'll leave the links down below to all the websites and everything that I'm talking about. Now, what production listings are, I'll show you an example of what Production Alert looks like. It tells you not only what film is coming up and where they're shooting and when they're shooting, but it also gives you the very important information that you need in order to reach out to them. They give you the email and phone number of of the production office for that shoot. When I first saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, like I had no idea this information was available to the public. Like this is insane that I can just call up this big shoot that's happening and ask if they need a PA. Now cold calling or cold emailing, there's a very specific correct way to do that. But this is the place production listings are where you can go in order to get the information. They might not have even put out a call for PAs yet, but the fact that you're already asking if you need help makes you really stand out because there are a lot of people looking for PA jobs and the fact that you called them directly or emailed them directly shows a lot. Now unfortunately, of these production listings are extremely expensive. Uh, this information does not come cheap. Production alert is $59.95 a month. However, I got access to it through NYU. NYU actually already subscribes to it and it makes it so any of the film students can come and look at the hard copy of the production alert report and basically just jot down any information or phone number that you need in order to contact that production company. If you do not go to a school that offers that sort of information, ask and see if they're willing to subscribe. You know, I'm sure there's a lot of other students that are looking for PA jobs and, you know, schools want their students to find jobs after school and, you know, over the summer. So you can really sell that pitch and see if your school is willing to invest in that for you guys. Um, if you do not go to school, you know, maybe split that cost with some friends or, you know, if money's not an issue to you, awesome. Um, you know, I recommend subscribing to Production Alert. There are a lot of production listings. I haven't tried any of the other ones. It's just a big money investment to see something that you don't even know if the information is gonna be good or if it's gonna be a lot. But I just know Production Alert specifically is a really good source of information and I highly recommend it. So the second place I recommend that you can go in order to find PA jobs is Facebook, okay? There are a lot of groups on Facebook where people post that they need a PA or that they need a cinematographer or they need an editor and you can find a lot of paid jobs that way. Now there are, are a lot of groups that I've learned about and that I have joined and some of them are better than others but the Facebook group where I see the most postings and that I see the most responses is Local Zero Heroes, okay? Now this is a secret group, which means that you cannot just find it on your own. Someone who is already in the group needs to add you to the group. So. When I first heard about this group, I was on set, right? And so just ask someone, hey, have you heard of Local Zero Heroes? A lot of people on set I found have heard about it. I found a lot of people were already a part of it. So I just asked one of them if they could please add me so I can be part of it too and so I can get more PA jobs. Um, and that's how you can get into that group, Local Zero Heroes. It is specifically for New York City. A lot of these groups that I'm gonna be talking about are for New York City just because that's where I did a lot of my PA work out after school, but Local Zero Heroes is my favorite, okay? And so the next group that I would recommend is for any location. It's not New York specific, although there are a lot of job postings for New York and LA. It's called Film, TV, and 
commercial production assistants paid positions. Now this is specifically posting PA jobs, specifically paid PA jobs, yay, because a lot of people will post jobs and say it's unpaid. So you know any job posted to this group will be paid. Now this group is a closed group, so you will be able to find it and then you just request to be a part of this group and then an admin will you know, accept your request and then you're in the group. And what's really great about Facebook is it will let you know when anyone puts anything on these Facebook groups so that way you are the first one to respond and say yes I am available because a lot of these posts are kind of last minute they're like I need someone tomorrow uh, and then you'll be like yes I am free and then next day you have a job right uh, really with any of this it's very important that you respond quickly as soon as like the day of the it's posted or within the first minute or second uh, it gives you a huge advantage especially on these Facebook groups another group that I really highly recommend is New York TV people I do see a lot of other job postings these aren't specifically just PA jobs but I do see job postings there and then another Facebook group I recommend is paid LA film and TV jobs um, again you see a lot of job postings if you don't live in New York or LA I promise you there's probably some some sort of group in your area. I know there's one just for New England. And um, again, like one I showed you is just for all over the place. It's not a location specific Facebook group. I think it's just very, very important for these Facebook groups is that you respond very quickly because a lot of times it's the first or first few people who respond that get the job. The third way to find PA jobs are job sites. Now there are a lot of job sites, but one of my favorites is called Staff Me Up. Um, this was recommended to me and so staff me up is really great because it can be free or you can pay a little bit extra and be able to apply to more places or have your resume boosted up um, higher above everyone else if it's for a job you really like so I did both the free staff me up and then I actually paid for a few months in order to get some um, more job opportunities and paying actually did help me I think get more jobs through that site. However, with these job sites, I really recommend that you go into them already with a pretty strong resume. And the thing is with Staff Me Up, for example, if you don't have a lot of experience, you fall really below the list of people who are applying. What's cool about Staff Me Up is it tells you how many people have already applied to that job, uh, which is kind of giving you an idea of how competitive that one PA job is. Other job sites I recommend are Mandy, uh, entertainmentcareers.net has some really good ones, especially if you're looking for something more long term. Production Hub and I guess Craigslist. I have never used Craigslist. Just be careful on Craigslist. Be careful on all these sites, but uh, just be smart about it. But I did hear that there have been some good job postings on Craigslist. And the fourth place I recommend you go to find PA jobs is LinkedIn. LinkedIn is free and there are a lot of job postings. This is just in general, not just for PA jobs, but also just regular office jobs. Jobs. Um, LinkedIn is a great source and specifically you can search for a specific company that you really like and see if there are any PA job openings and what's really really great about LinkedIn as you know if you already have a LinkedIn account is that you can see if you know anyone who already works at that production company or who used to work at that production company and you can reach out to them and say hey can you please recommend me uh, or put in a good word for me I'm applying to this job uh, I'm really interested in it and that is a great way uh, to find PA jobs as well and LinkedIn is just a really great place to find work and like network in a digital space and the fifth place that I recommend is IMDB Pro now IMDB is free however if you want to use IMDB Pro it is not with IMDB Pro you will get that contact information with certain production companies that you need in order to just reach out and find that PA job it's very similar to production listings again cold calling or just email Telling someone at random there is a strategy to it you know be friendly and be very professional with it if you are just calling someone to get some advice or if you're calling to see if they're looking for any PAs don't force anything on them just see if they have a moment to chat and see if they you know are they hiring right now and if they are then ask if you can send them your resume finding PA work is especially hard because typically you're just starting out if you're looking for PA work um, but what I recommend is if you don't have a very strong resume try to be the first to respond to those Facebook job posts that I talked to you guys about because that's a free source where you will see jobs and if you are the first typically if they're looking for someone last minute um, they'll say yeah because typically 
typically PA jobs in the beginning are just kind of getting coffee and getting food and stuff like that. And then once you are on set, network. Because besides all of this stuff, networking is the number one way to get more work. So once you are on a set through any sort of which way you get it, really network, stay in contact with those people, show that you are enthusiastic and hungry for more work and excited to be there. So that way you just develop really good relationships with people. Um, I think this is just important in general is just be positive and just to show that you are excited to be there. You want to work. Um, you don't mind getting anyone coffee. You know, you are excited to get someone their morning coffee coffee because you know that it will wake them up and brighten their day. Um, so that's really, really important. Uh, just network, 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 ask questions on set and just learn more information. I mean, that's how I found out about all these job sources is from people that I talked to on set. And then that's how I found other jobs or I got other jobs just from someone saying, hey, I really liked you. Um, would you like to be my camera assistant for this other production I'm working on? And it's like, yes, I would love to do that. So yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. My my name is Nadia. I make new content every week, so please subscribe for more videos, and I will see you guys next week. Bye, guys.